but I've decided to assemble this QRP Labs uh, dummy load. Now this was shipped, I believe, from Greece. I'm not sure about that. Cost eight dollars and fifty cents. It's advertised as being fifty ohms, capable of twenty watts. I don't know if that's peak or continuous. Now this came from QRP Labs. And that's qrplabs.com is their website. For every kit they sell, QRP Labs that is, they have an instruction sheet on how to assemble it. Schematic diagram, you can see it's pretty simple. RF input, apparently 20 of these resistors, a diode. This is a, an RF sampling system. Parts list. pictures, and then step-by-step -step instructions. If you do inventory the kit, I'm not going to. Oops, where's the yeah, capacitor? Here it is. You find one circuit board that needs to be broken in half. And then you'll find 22 resistors, even though only uh, 20 are required. Now these boards are identical, although you're going to treat them differently. So we'll pick what we're going to call the bottom board. That'll be this one. And the first things we install are the diode and the capacitor. The diode is installed as a hairpin. Silk screen has a marking on it. There's the diode symbol. And the line goes to this terminal. Here's the line on the diode. Bend it over. Take the lead with the line on it and stick it into the hole, marked line, and there's the hairpin diode. Capacitor goes next to the diode, and that's it. Assuming you want to use a BNC connector, they provide one. It's a little bit tricky to install these leads. Two of them are massive leads. Two of them are very small. So there, I've got it installed but not soldered. These are really big leads here, and they're connected to a ground plane, so we'll have to wait a while to get them hot enough. The only thing left are resistors at this point. The instructions would have you insert these resistors until the bottom of the resistor touches the PC board.
I have a piece of styrofoam. In fact, I have two pieces of styrofoam. The lead won't quite go through. So I'm going to stick them in this way. Right down through the styrofoam. You know you're done when you have two resistors left over. Get the lower piece of plastic off. And put it on top. Reach in, take a hold of the PC board. And we just swap it. Now all the resistors are tight against the PC board. A little bit crooked, but that will we'll take care of that. We'll solder all 20 resistors. After you've soldered the resistors on, straighten the leads a little bit. Not a good, not necessarily now, but at some point you're going to want them nice and straight. Now, the cutoff leads, where'd they go? You want to save these. Don't ask me why, you'll find a use for them on the bench eventually. Now, we've established that this is the bottom board. It has all the resistors, the diode, the capacitor, and the coupling on it. The next step. Step 3.4 is to install a jumper between W3 and W2, not on the bottom board. Do not fit this jumper on the bottom board. It's going to fit instead on what will become our top board. Taking one of these wires. Just bend it to a hairpin, insert it in W2, W3, and solder it. Trim off the leads. Now all you have to do, with the boards facing each other, stick these 20 wires in these 20 holes. Well, that's a colossal pain. What they would have you do is cut the wires. So there's some long wires and some short wires. After all, once the board's on, you're in cut them off just on the other side of the board anyway. It's easier to fit different size wires in these holes. Sort of up to you how do you want to cut them. I'm going to start here. Once all the resistors are fitted Sort of a, adjust these circuit boards until they appear to be vertical. Then solder away to your heart's content.
now. Got all the resistors sandwiched between the two PC boards. Pretty stable. We have two resistors left over. What QRP kits would do is have you use these as a handled lead. <laughs> Put it down here and attempt to get it through like that. Solder it. I'm going to take one of my cutoff leads and try to do the same thing with it. And there we go. Put a bend on this side and a bend on this side. Okay, so we've got a jumper through connecting boards. I'll take a look at it with an ohmmeter. And you see 49.8 ohms. So it settles down nicely at 49.8 ohms. So that's a $9 50 ohm 20 watt load from QRP Labs. Thank you.